So in this video, we will see how to interface graphical LCD with STM32 controller. First, let's look into our circuitry. So we need one STM32 F10366 controller for our simulation along with the graphical LCD that is 128 by 64. So you can use any graphical LCD with KS0108 controller. Now let's look into our connections. PA0 pin of the controller is connected to D0 pin of the LCD. PA1 is connected to D1, PA2 to D2. Likewise, PA7 is connected to D7. Reset pin is connected to PB0. Enable pin is connected to PA8. PA9 is connected to read write pin of the LCD. RS pin is connected to PA10. CS1 and CS2 of the LCD are connected to PB1 and PB2 of the controller. Now VDD and VSS pins of the LCD are connected to power supply and ground, power pin and ground. Now let's go for the controller. For this click on file, click on new, STM32 project. Type in the part number as STM32 F103 C6. Click on next. Give the project name as GLCD interface and click on finish. Now we will configure the GPIO pins. Configure PA0 to PA11 pins as GPIO output and PB0 to PB2 as GPIO output. So all the pins are configured as GPIO output. Once done, click on generate code. In Intman, we have declared four variables. First, var1 and var2 for the for loop, and C page and C column for going through the page and column of the LCD. So we will understand why we have used C page and C column variables. Now scrolling down, the reset pin (RES pin) of the LCD is set to logic one. So LCD will be always on. So whenever we want to reset the LCD, we just have to pull this pin to low. First we have to initialize the LCD. So going into LCD initialization function, we will see what is in the LCD initialization function. So coming here, we can see two sections for display 1 and display 2. So the 128 by 64 graphical LCD is divided into two sections that is 64 by 64 that is display 1 of 64 by 64 that is 64 rows and 64 columns and section 2 that is 64 by 64 means 64 rows and 64 columns so in total we have 128 columns and 64 rows so it makes graphical LCD of 128 columns by 64 rows. To enable or to display in the first section of the graphical LCD, we have to set CS pin of the LCD to a logic 1. And to display in the second section, we have to set CS2 to logic 1. Now in the code as you can see we have written code for display 1 that is the column starts from column 0 to column 63 and for display 2 the column number the column numbering starts from 64 to 127 but for addressing the section 2 columns the addressing remains the same. 
or whenever we want to display on column 64 of the graphical LCD, we have to set we have to set CS2 pin to logic 1 and give the column address as 0. So coming to LCD function, we have made read write pin to logic 0. So taking the LCD into write mode. The command data select variable selects the mode to write command or to write data. So whenever it is 0, it will write command and whenever it is 1, it will write data. The CS select variable selects the display section that is display 1 or display 2 section. If CS select variable is equals to equals to 1 then display 1 section is selected else display 2 section is selected. Now coming to this line, we have cleared all the data pins first, then we have set the data pins according to the data that is PA0 to PA7 are set according to the data that we want to write on the graphical LCD. Coming here, we have set the enable pin and given some delay, we have again reset it. So giving one high pulse. Here we have directly accessed the registers of the controller. So for enable pin we have used PA9 pin to write data we have used PA0 to PA7 To write command or data, we have used PA10 and for read write, we have used PA8. Now to make the display selection simple we have made two micros that is hash defined display 1 equals to 1 and hash defined display 2 the value is given as 2. So whenever we write as display 1, 1 will be sent and whenever we write display 2, 2 value will be sent selecting the display 2 section of the graphical LCD. Now in this part of the code 
we have written the values for digits 0 to 9. Now here you can see so digit 0 is displayed in display 1 section from column 0 to column 26 to write each digit we need total 26 columns we have made our font like that so we need total 26 columns so next digit will be written from column 26 to column 51 first digit will be written from column 0 to column 25 and next digit will be written from column 26 to column 51 so two digits are covered in display one section now to display one digit we need total 26 columns and 5 pages so as you can see in the for first for loop as you can see in the outer for loop we have set the variable 2 var2 initial value of var2 is equals to 0 and we have compared it with 5 so on each iteration the page will be incremented by 1 Now to write in page 0, we have to give the command as 0xb8 and there are total 8 pages. So it is covered in the last 3 bits of the value. If you like the video, click on like, share and subscribe. If you want certain topic to be covered, please give us a comment. So in the, so in the inner for loop, variable 1 is initialized to 0. It is compared with variable 26 and incremented by 1. Column is set to auto increment. The values for each digit are calculated and stored in the memory. You can create your own fonts, write the values according. So here you can see that to display, to write 0, to write digit 0, we have used display 1. To write 1, we have display 1. To write 2 and 3, 2. To write 4 and 5 we have used display 1. To write 6 and 7 we have used display 2. To write 8 we have used display 1. And to write 9 we have used display 2. Let's build our code. So click on build. See that we have 0 errors and 0 warnings. load the hex file in the controller and click on run so as you can see 0 1 is displayed on display 1 section 2 3 are displayed in display 2 section 3 4 is displayed in section 1 4 5 is displayed in section 2 7 is 7 0 1 are displayed in section 1, 2 3 are displayed in section 2, 4 5 is displayed in section 1, 6 7 is displayed in section 2, 8 is in display 1, 
एट इज इन सेक्शन वन एंड नाइन इज इन सेक्शन टू होप यू हैव एंजॉयड द वीडियो इफ यू एंजॉयड द वीडियो क्लिक ऑन लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब एंड कीप लर्निंग सी इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो